Hey there, this is Sarah Bailey, and I want to show you a really cool tool that you can use to blur out words and phone numbers and people's names when you take a screenshot on your computer, okay? So I don't know if you can use it on your phone or the iPad, but I know that with your desktop, you can use this tool. It's called Jing, J-I-N-G. There's another one called Snagit, which is the upgraded version, and it's Snagit is only like 50 bucks, so if you can afford it, I highly recommend getting it. So I'm going to show you how to use both of those tools right now. So with Jing, when you download it, it's a free software. <clears throat> and I'll show you, after I show you how to do this, I'm going to show you where you can find it. Go, you'll get this little yellow star that will pop up either in the corner of your screen or in the top center of your screen when you download it. So what I do to take a screenshot is I go up to this little yellow sun, I click on the crosshair, and now I can take a capture of my page. So let's say I'm going to take a snapshot of this conversation. I'm going to do this, but let's say I want to, uh, wait, you know what I'm going to do? Let's say I want to have her first name as evidence of the person that I'm talking to, a real person, but I want to block out her last name. Okay, so I got the screen capture. And also when you do it, like I just showed you, you can move the sides before you click save. But once you're done, you get your image, you click on save on the lower left, okay? You can also capture video. If you wanna do a screen, you know, like showing your desktop and do a video, you can do that. So I capture it. Now I can either share to screencast where you could send a link for somebody to get a copy of your image if you want to, or you could save it to your computer. Okay, so I'm gonna put Millie conversation that I'm going to save. But before I click save, I want to make some changes on it. So I want to blur this out. Now I'm going to tell you with the Jing tool, <clears throat> you have to have a workaround. They don't have the blurring tool that Snagit does. So you have to have a workaround. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a couple other features too. Here's an arrow and here are all the color choices you have. Let's say I want to send this screenshot to somebody and I want to draw attention to the link, okay, for this Facebook group. I can just change the, take an arrow. I could change the size of it. I can delete it, okay. You click on it where the two dots show up and then you can delete it. So let's say I have that <clears throat> and I'm going to send it to somebody who's not Millie, but I don't want Millie's last name to be on there. Now there's a highlighting tool, so you could switch to black, but I'm going to show you if you highlight this, it does not remove all the information. You might, I don't know if you can see on this, what I'm showing you right now, but I can still see her last name. So that's not the right thing to do when you want to block out something using Jing. To do it, the workaround is to take the arrow and do it that way, okay? The only problem though is that when you do this, you get, you have to do it both ways, left to right and right to left but you still get part of the arrow showing. <laughs> so it looks a little messy, but at least you can do it and you can block out the information that you don't want to be seen, okay? So there's that. <clears throat> now, I'm gonna save that. You can also do it in, in Snagit. So Snagit is another tool. You'll see this, it'll show up as a little thin blue sliver of a bar. Down here on my, on my dock, my tray, this is what the icon looks like. So let's say I, I want that, I'm gonna get a screen capture of that. And I'm gonna go back up here like that. And I click on the camera to take the picture. And now I'm in the Snagit editor. In Snagit you can do so many cool things that you can't do in Jing, okay? For example, here's the pen. All these things are for the pen. You could do stars, you could do <clears throat> different ways to highlight with borders. You can do numbers, you can even flip the colors around, you can take different colors. There are a whole bunch of options. The pen tool is cool. Okay, so I'm clicked on orange, you can make a little squiggly line. You could, <laughs> you can make a smiley face. <laughs> All right, you can use different colors. Now, the blurring image, the blurring feature is what I wanna show you. You click on this teardrop thing and then you can highlight what it is you want to blur out and it will blur it for you. See? Now you have no idea what Millie's last name is. 
let's say, um, I want to blur all the kissy face. You just click and drag. Okay, all I'm doing is I'm taking my mouse, I'm clicking on it, and I'm dragging down. And it can blur out everything. If you want to undo it, you can undo it. Okay, so that's a really cool tool. Now I'll show you how, how to find this stuff. You can go, just do a Google search and type in Jing Screen Capture and you'll see it and you can download the tool for free. It's from a company called TechSmith. TechSmith also sells the, the screen recording tool called Camtasia, which you might be familiar with. So you could find it from there. <clears throat> the other thing you could do is Google the Snagit tool. You can find it from that same website, Snagit Screen Capture. And you could go there and you can get that. So you can get the screen capture tool. Oh look, to upgrade for $24.95. Get it. <laughs> go get it. The other thing I want to tell you about Snagit that's really cool. Snagit has a feature for capturing a whole image that's a long image. Like you might have gone to some sales pages where it's a whole long page and it takes up more than just your screen that you see at one glance. Um, it's a way that you could get the whole image and you can scroll down with it and you could take a capture of that. It's really cool. So that is it for today. That is how you use the Jing tool and the Snagit tool and you can blur out those images. So if you're going to be posting something on social media like Facebook or Instagram and you don't want to, you want to maintain somebody's privacy and not post a phone number or an email address or your own email address, you can do that with this tool, okay, with either of these tools. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have comments or questions, please uh, post them below or you could go to uh, my Facebook page and you can send me a message there. So here I am. I'm Sarah Dickinson Bailey on Facebook. Send me a message and I'll be happy to get back with you. Have a super fantastic, awesome, awesome day.